elementary school, and um, this commercial came on with the tagline for this dishwashing liquid, and the tagline said, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. <laughs> Two boys from my class said, yeah, that's where women belong, in the kitchen. I remember feeling shocked and angry and also just feeling so hurt. It just wasn't right and something needed to be done. So I went home and I told my dad what had happened. And he encouraged me to write letters. So I did to the most powerful people I could think of. Now, my 11-year-old self worked out that if I really wanted someone to hear me, well, then I should write a letter to the First Lady. So off I went, scribbling away to our First Lady at the time, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I um, also put pen to paper and I wrote a letter to my news source at the time, Linda Ellerby, who hosted a kids news program and then to powerhouse attorney Gloria Allred, because even at 11, I wanted to cover all my bases. <laughs> Finally, I wrote to the soap manufacturer, and a few weeks went by, and to my surprise, I received letters of encouragement from Hillary Clinton, from Linda Ellerby, and from Gloria Allred. It was amazing. The kids' news show, they sent a camera crew to my home to cover the story. And it was roughly a month later when the soap manufacturer, Procter & Gamble, changed the commercial for their ivory clear dishwashing liquid. <laughs> they changed it from Women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans to people all over America.